So once you have set up your router where it has an internet cable plugged into it and power, if you are going to connect to it wirely, I'm not, so I just plugged in my, I plugged for the wire connection, I plugged in my server. So I have access to my server here. So we're gonna close that. And I'm gonna connect you, because uh, I am on my Surface Pro 4, my review is coming soon, so this is the reason I'm, I'm using this. As to review how it would increase our workflow, we're going to connect to that plus net, uh, plus net router. We want to navigate to its default IP address, which will be under 192.168.1.254. Once we're here, we basically see our setup. We want to head over to the advanced settings and you want to type in the password. Don't forget that your router should be reset to the default settings. So once you get it, even if it's out of the box, reset it to the factory settings so it has nothing. Then we're gonna begin. So you're gonna go to the home network device. And you're gonna go to IP addresses. You wanna click IP addresses and you wanna change this. Now, after we're done with the whole setup of this router, this router will no longer be accessible because we will not need it. So we're gonna apply those. You want to press yes. This page will fail to load, but you want to get so you want to head over to the IP address that you just set. This IP address will no longer exist after we're done. Keep in mind, so as you guys see, we are here on a new IP address. I'm going to go back into the advanced settings. It will ask you to prompt your password again because you are now on a different network. Well, not different network, but on a different IP address. And I will change this password to something I do remember. So we won't keep anything default. Right, you wanna go to, you wanna go back into networks. So once you're here in the networks, so LAN1 has 100 megabits, the rest of them are gigabit, I think. So do be aware this is not the fastest router but it will still give me enough plenty of speed. Right, so you want to go into the IP addresses again. And we will be disabling... You don't need the DHP server as your main router will handle that apply. There we go, so... Okay, so after disabling the DHPC server, we want to... DHC, DHCP server. We want to go into the firewall. Uh, and then you want to go and press... Configuration. Configuration. sorry. You want to allow everything, don't worry, the main router will handle all that. Are you sure the firewall is available? Yes, correct. You want to apply that. Once done that, you want to go to wireless and you want to change this name as you will not be able to change it after the computer, uh, after the router has been reset. So you also want to reset, you want to also reset your password, but I'm going to do that off camera. So I'm going to pause the video here, change the password and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I've done all that. And I want to connect to the network now, so I've already tried connecting to it. We're going to connect to it. There we go, we are back in. And we want to go back into the router. And the reason, because I am going to re re-disable the... Uh, I'm going to re re-disable the DHP server because it's still enabled here. So I'm going to de disable that. I'm going to press apply. Press yes. Okay, so it's turned off, but for some reason it's letting us in. At this point, you are able to plug in the internet cable to the back of the router and Wi-Fi should be re-enabled. 
if I do a simple YouTube search, you do have access to the server, sorry, to the internet. So the router has been successfully set up. Now let's just do a quick Hmm. We're just going to quickly test this. And there you guys go, there's your internet speed. It's a little slow because it just got set up, but usually my speed is faster. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.